Well, it's April 1st again. Last year we did something of a pseudo prank video, but this year the video is going to be a little different. Instead of something of a joke, this one is going to cover a topic that's rather strange, but be fitting for the day. It's a camouflage pattern that doesn't fall into the armed forces category, nor the fictional realm. No, this one is going to be about a camouflage that was based on a carpet. That's right, today we're going to be looking at a pattern often referred to as the Marriott Carpet Camouflage. So we've all seen pictures online showing how some camouflage patterns blend in almost perfectly to items they were never intended for. However, every once in a while someone will take that often comical effect and really run with it. Now some viewers may have come across this pattern in passing as it created something of a stir a few years back because of a cease and desist letter issued to the creator, but before we go into that, Let's start at the beginning. Once a year during the US's Labor Day weekend, DragonCon, a convention held in Atlanta, Georgia, takes place. Started in 1987, the convention has changed over the decades, but is now known for a variety of things such as panels and events based on music, movies, comics, art, games, and so on. However, since the first costume parade in 2002 through downtown Atlanta, it has slowly become the spot for cosplay and costuming. It's here anyone who cosplays goes to show off their work, be it original, a recreation, or a mix match of the two. This is where the story begins as far as the carpet camouflage. Since 2001, the convention has partially been held in the Atlanta Marriott Marquis. It was here a rather interesting carpet was seen throughout large sections of the hotel. In 2013, prop and costume group Vulpin Props, led by owner Harrison Cricks, came up with the idea of designing a camouflage uniform with the carpet pattern printed on it. They had a few sets of BDUs and helmet covers made in the pattern, along with customizing some toy and prop rifles. During that year's convention, they unveiled it to overall positive reactions and reviews. However, what really caught the attention of people beyond the convention and costuming community, as well as a handful of news outlets, was when Vulpin received a cease and desist letter from Cortison Incorporated. On September 19th of that year, they posted to their Facebook page about the CND, essentially mentioning how absurd it was to receive one from a carpet company of all places being that their line of work revolves around making replicas of various items. Now, the reason for receiving the letter wasn't because they made the pattern into uniforms, but rather because they made their templates available to purchase on the website Spoonflower for others who wanted to order fabric to make their own creations. Not wanting to cause any problems, they acknowledged the letter and stopped offering the pattern for sale. So was that the end of the carpet camouflage? Nope, far from it. Over the next few years, Vulpin continued to wear their uniforms to other cons, and even converted a kid's jeep into what they called the Marriott Chariot. Because of the fame that came with the whole ordeal, Vulpin for a while couldn't shake its popularity. However, because of this and renovations to the hotel, the carpet camouflage evolved into something far larger. In 2015, the Marriott Marquis began ripping up the well-known carpet, replacing it with an equally strange pattern. However, as they were removing sections, a few dedicated fans noticed the rolls of it in dumpsters outside the hotel and hastily grabbed up as much as they could take. This, mixed with the fact that Vulpin made their templates available for free on their website, helped lead to the founding of the Cult of Marriott Carpet. Starting as something of an inside joke among attendees, the cult now consists of a Facebook page and group. Every year since 2016, this collective attends DragonCon, marches in its parade, and sometimes memorializes the now-gone carpet by arranging surviving rolls, swatches, and any form of textile down where it once laid, all while wearing remixed and original costumes sporting the pattern. From smaller things such as scarves or patches to fully customized stormtrooper armor and even entirely wrapped vehicles, this group is dedicated to preserving the bygone carpet's design. You can check out their community page, Cult of Marriott Carpet at DragonCon on Facebook. There you will find links to a number of sites and sources if you want to get involved or learn more. Additionally, in the description you can find a link to Vulpin Props' blog post containing the free files they designed to help spawn the whole movement. While there, be sure to take a look at their other work. They have made and continue to make some amazing pieces. Well, this episode probably came out of left field for many, but it was pretty fun and funny to work on, and we hope our viewers enjoyed the change of pace. We'll continue to do these types of videos every April 1st, but if you'd like to see more strange and obscure topics that don't quite fit into the videos we typically do, let us know, and maybe we'll upload one every now and again. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we upload, or just check back soon for more videos right here on Uniform History.